Hello, my unapologetic beauties. Welcome to another episode of Unapologetically Her, hosted by yours truly, Natalie Nadine. Unapologetically Her is a podcast created to not only tackle all things female and urban pop culture, but to empower, embrace, and educate the women of today's society. Welcome to another episode of Unapologetically Her, the podcast that's for her by her. And for today's episode, I will be discussing the topic of success. Do you have to sacrifice something in order to gain success? And how else can someone define what success means to them? This topic was brought to my attention after watching an episode of the iconic American sitcom Girlfriends that aired from 2000 until 2008. And mind you, did not get the proper series finale it deserved. Justice for Girlfriends, I'm just saying. Now, if you don't know what show I'm talking about, let me play you the theme song to help jog your memory. Now, how do you not love that theme song? I literally have to resist singing along to it every single time. It's embedded in my brain. Now that you heard it, I'm sensing that the wheels are turning. And I'm sure you're remembering the characters like Joan, Tony, Maya, my girl, Lynn. And how do you forget about the lovable male bestie, William Dent? For the last, I would say, two to three weeks, I've been binge watching Girlfriends. And it never ceased to amaze me the topics that would be addressed on the show. The show always keeps me on my toes with what could be considered controversial topics for both back then and now. This past week, I took to social media to ask the question, in order to achieve success, do you have to sacrifice your personal life? This question was based on a comment that the character Tony made when speaking to a group of women at a seminar pretty much saying that in order to achieve what you want out of life, you have to sacrifice something else, more specifically, your personal life. When I posted this as a poll on Instagram, I got the surprising results of 18% saying yes, and the majority with 82% of people saying no. One responder mentioned, 100%, you get what you put in. Success takes hard work and time. Another person mentioned, I feel like we all have different abilities. Some people are capable of handling both parts of their life. I also feel like practicing self-care is essential in order to gain success. A next person responded by saying, No, I don't think you have to sacrifice your personal life in order to achieve success. There just has to be a balance between the two, in my opinion. Now, as you can see, there's a trend here. Another person responded by saying, Nope, not at all. I'm literally 20 been working full-time for two years while still in school, bought my car, pay all the bills, and still make time for a bit of fun, whether that's going out, watching Netflix, etc. What people need to learn is time management skills, not procrastinating, and not to be lazy. First of all, snap, snap, like, girl, yes. Like, congrats to you for being a girl boss at such a young age. Continue to be unapologetically you. Now, with all that being said, in my opinion, and don't shoot the messenger, I agree with yes. There is a balance that we have to acquire when it comes to going after the things that we want in life. Priorities are everything, and as long as you plan efficiently, you should be good. However, I also think that you do need to make certain sacrifices in order to achieve certain things that you want. Yes, it is based on each individual person, and what they want, and what they define as success. As one person said, success takes hard work and time. Maybe you don't have to forfeit and sacrifice your relationship per se, but sometimes some things have to give. You might not have to sacrifice now, but down the line, you may be faced with a situation that will force you to take your energy and time from one thing and put it into something else. Now, I'm speaking from experience, I am someone who had to make sacrifices. My friend brought it to my attention that there has been many times I couldn't hang out because I had to prioritize school. 
I was busy doing photography, therefore I was always taking pictures, editing photos and videos, and plus I worked a lot. And she was right. During my years in school, I had to make many sacrifices as a full-time student, as a commuter, so I was also busing back and forth to school, up to two hours going there and coming back. And I also was a part-time worker, but was always picking up extra shifts where I could. As someone who was also trying to start their own side hustle, my plate was considered full, and I had to sacrifice personal relationships, hanging out with friends, going out, and doing the do's. But at the end of the day, I had no regrets, and to be honest, I still don't. Because I knew what success meant to me, and I knew at the time what I had to do to achieve it. I knew something had to give to get to where I am presently and where I want to go in the future. Sometimes I feel that although I'm making progress with what I want, I still have a very high standard when it comes to success. And although it may not be in my reach right now, best believe, honey, I will do whatever it takes to reach it, even if I have to give to get. At the end of the day, if I end up not accomplishing what I set out to do, no one but me can take the blame for it. It will be no one's fault or responsibility but my own. And for that, I will always continue to work hard for what I want, and you should too. Just know your priorities at the end of the day and map out how you will go after them. Make sure you analyze the situation accordingly and that no unwanted distractions come your way. You always have to think long term and not settle for every and anything. Push yourself to strive higher and higher. Now, here's the thing. We all know about financial success. However, success can come in other ways, shapes, and forms. Keep in mind, what might be considered as a success for one might not be the same definition for the next person. According to Google, success can be defined as the fact of getting or achieving wealth, respect, or fame, the correct or desired result of an attempt, someone or something that is successful, a person or thing that succeeds. But that cookie cutter definition is not always the case. According to lifehacks.org, success can also be defined in many different ways, such as having control over your life and your destiny, Girl, stand your ground. Take the time to map out the road that you want to follow. You and you alone should be in control of what you want out of life. Who cares what others may think? Because at the end of the day, you have to live with the consequences, not them. So always make sure that you are doing as you believe. You like that Winnie Houston reference? I know. <laughs> Perfect segment. Perfect segue. How you mean? Now, accomplishing victories, big or small, and not giving up. Every form of success should be celebrated. Big or small, you strive for what you want, and you didn't give up, and that says a lot. Next, success is having self-love, true friends, family, and a genuine partner around you to love, and to be loved back. Love from all sides that is unconditional. And to be able to give that back in return is not only a success, but a huge blessing as well. Learning from the past to better your future. Believe it or not, turning your L's into lesson and accepting failure is sometimes that key tool that a person needs in order to succeed in their overall battle. Conquering your fears. When you overcome something as small as a hurdle or as big as a mountain, that feeling of success within is something that no one can strip from you. And ultimately, it pushes you to keep going and teaches you that nothing can stop you. Success is being able to say both yes and no. Like I mentioned before the commercial break, balance is everything. And sometimes that requires you to choose from one thing versus the next. Sometimes you have to pick yes, and other times you just have to say no. 
You can't and should not give people all of you every single time. Both answers are okay. Success can also be believing in yourself and going after what you want. And I can't stress this enough. Stop doubting yourself and go after th- and go after the things that make your heart sing. Start the side hustle or business. Start investing in yourself, whatever that investment may be. Lastly, Know the difference between a need and a want. Take the time to study it and truly know the difference with regards to yourself and what is a priority to you and not a simple in the moment knee jerk choice. Ultimately, I can go on and on about the different ways we as individuals achieve success. Nonetheless, success is about love, health, family, friends, life. And most importantly, yourself and your happiness. We need to start appreciating the things others take for granted and know that everything is a part of the journey. Time to start acknowledging all parts of life as not only a stepping stone, but steps of success, leading us to bigger successors and ultimately our final goal and destination. Overall, success cannot be defined by just one thing or gen- or be a generalized definition. It's not a one size fits all hat. Instead, it's a combination of many things and it's up to each and every individual to do some self-reflecting and look within themselves to see what is their definition of success? How do they plan on achieving it? What's for everyone might not be for you and what's for you might not be for everyone. Well, this concludes today's episode of Unapologetically Her. Thank you so much for listening. If you have any comments, questions, or podcast topics, hit me up on social media at unapologetically here on Instagram and at unapologetic underscore UH on Twitter. Also, don't forget you can listen to the podcast on various platforms, including Anchor, Apple Podcasts, Breaker, Google Podcasts, Overcast, Podbean, Pocket Cast, Radio Public, SoundCloud, Spotify, And last but not least, YouTube. Once again, thank you all so much for listening. Hopefully you'll tune in for a new episode. Much love, peace. Stay safe and stay blessed. Bye.